Great. Gentlemen's time has expired. Chair, now I recognize the gentleman from Tennessee, Mr. Desjardins. Thank you, Chairman. I'd like to get through a couple questions uh, with General Cal uh, Calavelli, or Cavoli, I'm sorry. General, last month the Defense Innovation Unit announced that UCOM and Indopaycom would be the first to receive new generative artificial intelligent capabilities under the Thunder Forge Initiative for operational planning and decision support. From the command level perspective, how do you envision this technology enhancing UCOM's capabilities? Oh, it's going to be fantastic if it uh, if it works out the way it's supposed to, mm -hmm. Congressman. It's a uh, it's a an ability to use <laughs> artificial intelligence to do complex models and then to run scenarios in it. So effectively, to do the sort of war gaming that used to involve a bunch of you know a bunch of majors hunk hunkered over a map in the middle of the night arguing back and forth, we'll be able to automate that and do thousands and thousands of iterations. It'll really help clarify some of our planning. Okay. What kind of guardrails are you putting in place to ensure that it augments rather than replaces human judgment, especially in high stakes or escalatory scenarios? Well, I, I expect my subordinate officers to come to me with the decisions and the recommendations, not the computer. Um, yeah, no, it, it, it's, it, it's going to be an integral part of our staff process the way we do them now. It could conceivably help to replace some manpower, but in the beginning it's designed to enable manpower. Okay, and General Cavoli, uh, I appreciate you raising the alarm about the roughly dozen European ports near or co-located with logistic hubs that have significant Chinese investments. I think this is a critical issue that doesn't get the attention it deserves in Washington. Uh, what's your assessment of the risk this poses in a crisis, and when you bring these concerns directly to our allies, are they receptive to your concerns? Um, yeah, the, the concerns are obvious, sir. You know, we'd, we could lose access at a critical time to a port. In our exercise program, we're very careful and very deliberate to exercise a wide variety of different port facilities so that we um, un understand the way they work and, and their ownership and everything, and so that we um, exercise our rights to use them. Um, when we talk to our allies about them, they uh, almost always immediately respond if we have concerns about the ownership. In some cases that we could talk about in closed session, allied governments have intervened and stopped a tender um, because it was gonna uh, put a critical piece of infrastructure potentially into the wrong hands. Mm -hmm. And uh, you also pointed to CCP link 5G infrastructure across parts of Europe as an area of concern. Uh, beyond diplomacy, what tools do we have, either bilaterally or through NATO, to mitigate the surveillance and influence risks this poses? Um, b beyond diplomacy, sir, I, I think I'd do best to answer that in closed session. Yes, sir. I yield back.